Big developments in the reopen investigation into the Atlanta child murders for the very first time. We're hearing how investigators are piecing together this nearly 40 year old case. Ryan Kruger has the details tonight, Ryan. So Ron, one thing that has always hampered the investigation is there's never been a set number of victims killed, and many believe the murders may have actually started before the 1979 date that is so commonly accepted. Wayne William didn't kill our children. No, and we want justice. Catherine Leach has never believed that the man sitting in jail for nearly four decades killed her son Curtis. Wayne Williams, convicted of murdering two adults and suspected in more than 20 of the child murders, still proclaims his innocence to this day. At a community forum in southwest Atlanta, Williams called in from prison. Just want to reach out to my heart and just say, you know, God bless you, let's finally get some answers to you. After a bombshell announcement earlier this year that the cases would be reopened, we're now hearing from the Fulton County District Attorney about how investigators plan to crack the nearly 40-year-old cases. We're going back to see whether or not we can locate any other children who were killed. Paul Howard says his office will create its own list, which may include even more kids than originally thought, with the murders possibly starting before anyone ever realized. Howard plans to meet with the families of the victims in the coming weeks. A meeting Catherine Leach hopes will eventually bring justice to her son Curtis. I still miss him and uh, I still hurt. And the DA anticipates there will be so much evidence collected that they're actually considering hiring private outside companies outside of the GBI crime lab to help with the workload. Paul Howard says he hopes to have a preliminary report coming up in just 90 days.